Now let's implement the prototype design pattern. So just to review, it's a creational pattern. It allows an object to basically create a deep copy of itself. So in this example, we are given a shape interface which can be cloned and that logic will be implemented within the rectangle and square classes. So uh, just to show you on the right really quick, we're doing Java just because it's a pretty readable language. The verbosity in this case is pretty helpful. So the rectangle will implement the shape and so, of course, we're going to need to override the clone method. The rest of the code is given to us. A rectangle can have a width and a height, so it's pretty simple. Nothing really more than that. And we also have a square class, which is also going to implement clone. Squares are a bit more simple than rectangles because we just need one length attribute because it's going to be common for all four sides of the square. So we are going to implement the following, the clone method, of course, in the rectangle class, which is going to return a new instance of the rectangle class. Same thing with the square class. And there's one third method actually we're going to implement. It's called clone shapes. It's down here and it's actually going to accept a list of shapes and we want to return a deep copy list of each of those shapes. So if we can implement clone correctly, this should be pretty trivial for us to do. And just to quickly show you how this code is going to be tested, we will instantiate a square, we will clone that square, and then when we compare the references to those squares, we expect that they are not equal. They are different objects. We're going to do the same thing with rectangle. These should be different objects. So here, this should evaluate to false after we clone a rectangle. In the end, we are going to create an instance of this test class down here. Here, we're just basically creating a hard-coded array of the shapes that we created up above, the square copy, rectangle, and rectangle copy. So we're just creating an array with those. And then we want to create a deep copy of that list. So we pass in those shapes into this method, and then we should get a deep copy. And to confirm that we got a deep copy, the list references should be different. The size of both of them should be equal though. And for every single item in both lists, the items themselves should be different. The references should be different. They should be different objects, but the attributes of every single one of those objects should be exactly the same. So that's what you can see is being tested here. The first object is going to be a square. We'll make sure that the lengths of those are equal. The next instance might be a rectangle, and we'll make sure that the width and the height of those are equal as well, even though I haven't shown all that logic here. So if we can do this correctly, all of these should be satisfied. So let's get into it. Let's start with the rectangle class here. It's going to return an instance of a shape. At least that's what it'll be casted as. But when we create the clone of a rectangle, we want to create a rectangle. We're not creating a square, that's for sure. So what are we going to pass in for the dimensions? We're passing in width and height. Well, we can just pass in the same width and height of the current object. So we can do this, this dot width, this dot height and then go ahead and return that. So this is the correct way to do it. A naive way would be to just say return this. Technically, we are returning a copy of the rectangle by doing this, but this is a shallow copy. We want a different deep copy. Pretty much the same thing down here with cloning a square. We're gonna return a new instance of a square, and we're gonna pass in the length of the current square to make sure that this is a copy. So now that we've implemented those, copying a list of shapes, even if we don't know whether that shape is a square, whether it's a rectangle, it might even be a circle if we decide to extend this code. This is going to be pretty easy. But before I show you, let me show you some wrong ways to do it. Don't return the list of shapes that you're given. That's a copy, but again, it's a shallow copy. So to actually copy them, let's create a new list of shapes and let's call this clone shapes. It'll just be an empty array list for now. And then we'll use a for each loop to get each shape in the input shapes. And then within here, a naive way to do this would be just to say cloned shapes, add the input shape. But this is not creating a clone. This is just getting the original shape. To create a clone, we say dot clone. And then we will return the cloned shapes. This is the entire code. Let's run it. And as you can see, it works. So I'll leave things there. 